Hey everybody, good Cal here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to fix a pesky DNS problem. And I say problem as in singular because uh, many PSN network errors or codes come up, and many of them have different meanings and, su and such. So if you have errors and it's just, you know, on one day, th this this video is not for you because that's either maybe your internet company is having just this issue a day or there's maybe some people working on a phone line or some internet box somewhere in your city or maybe the PSN is just acting up for you know everybody or in your area so that's this video is not for you this video is for the people who most likely have crappy internet like uh, I don't know, Time Warner Cable uh, Roadrunner and Comcast sometimes so this is for you where you for no reason at all you've tried everything you've put your PS3 in a DMZ zone you've port forwarded you've set up a custom IP address uh, all of that stuff you've tried everything uh, but this should help you and I'll explain in a minute but uh, <clears throat> uh, this this will help you in a way where you say you're getting kicked off of online games or if you stay inactive too uh, long on your PS3, you'll automatically be signed out. This is for you. This will help greatly because uh, I'm here, many of you should know, at Ohio University, so I'm living in Ohio. And I have crappy Time Warner Cable, and they are just uh, not very good with uh, compatibility with PlayStation. So I got so many errors uh, at so many points in time that it just drew me, drew, drew me insane because I did all the things I just listed. But this, I found, I stumbled upon the PlayStation forums. I'm hoping this helps, and I'll leave the link to that PlayStation forum below. But, uh, so here it goes. Um, first off, you know, always go to network settings. Uh, internet connection settings. Uh, custom and wireless. And you can scan or enter manually, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, go find your internet, enter your password if you have one. It's very simple. Now, at IP address setting, come to manual, and see here's the IP address, your subnet mask, and your default router. These are uh, cus or customized to your internet, so these will uh, won't be the same as mine. Don't worry. These are based on your internet, and you can find them by going to uh, on your PlayStation 3. Go back to network settings and go to internet uh, settings and connection list or something like that. Uh, but uh, this is all set in your internet. This is you don't want to change. But here, right here, these you want to copy down. Uh, the primary DNS 208.67.222.222 and below it, all that's different is instead of 222, it's 220. Now this you, again, this is what you want. Copy this down and put this in your primary domain name servers. Uh, what this does, to my understanding, is it keeps your internet but it like it masks it as something else, and you know it's not illegal. You don't worry. This is a free domain name server, uh, but this like masks it to say, okay, this is not Time Warner Cable. This is just an internet connection trying to connect to the internet. And uh, what that does is it pretty much negates the horrible internet connection or compatibility with your internet to the PlayStation Network. So, just uh, restating. These are custom. Oh, my bad. These are customized to your internet. Make sure these are correct, uh, not mine, your own. But these two, you want to copy down, as you see here. All right. And from here, you just go to automatic, and you can all this stuff you can choose to use. All the proxy server, I don't, you know, suggest. And then you simply save settings, and you can sign right into the network. And um, now I, I now I thought this was a hundred percent fix, and most of the time it is, but it just happens to be like maybe a small issue will crop up here and then. You'll get signed out of the network maybe I don't know, maybe every other day, but only once. Or, or say you're playing Battlefield 3 and you get kicked off, that will only happen, you know, once or twice. Compared to for me, I don't know about you guys, but compared to me, it happened uh, at least five times a day with getting kicked off online games, uh, at least ten times a day getting signed off the network for no reason. So this is a big improvement and I hope it helps you guys. And uh, if you have any questions at all about anything internet wise, I'll be happy to try and help you. But uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you everyone for watching and hope this helps.